listen, I'm a, I'm a lover of the sport of fighting. I'm a lover of the sport of, yeah, you could be choking someone out, ironing someone out, knocking them out, you know, making them tap out unconscious. It's the sport of fighting, it's what I do, I'm a fighter. Dave and Storm's here, massive fans. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a blessing. I mean, we're all there busting our skellies. Um, our AP skellies, frosted white gold. Um, and then Dave sings in one of his songs that there's money in skeletons. And, you know, I just vibe with that straight away. Tony Bellew and Wayne Rooney. What was it like meeting them? Oh, it was great. Obviously, Wayne Rooney's a, a legend in, in the sport of football. And, and Tony Bellew is, um, you know, he's a good friend of mine and he's always got time for me. So, um, you know, I really enjoy, enjoy having a catch up with Bellew. Enjoy chatting to him, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, always up for a fight and that. We just said, we had just finished an exchange and he, I caught him with two naughty left hooks and then he's backed off. And I was just like, mate, like this is now like the 10th round and all you've done is get on your bike. Like this ain't the Tour de France, mate. Like we're in there to fight, you know, you're in the wrong line of sports. So that was just more like, mate, you've done this for 10 rounds have it out with me what you know once so and then he was doing all the silly gestures and it's like mate come and fight like stop running and, that, and that's all that was yeah 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 i like that picture like, well I, I had the skelly ap on i had the louis vuitton shades on i had the gold cuban choker on the cuban shirt flex you know Swagged that, innit? Would you say you're much into your fashion? I would say I'm into my fashion. Um, in terms of I'm either in a suit or a tracksuit. I don't really dress casual. Like I'm, I love a suit. I love a naughty suit, anyway. My first title, WBA Continental title, um, the rematch with Cedric Payne at the O2 Arena. Uh, that night was probably one of the most meaningful nights of my career. Uh, it was um, a blessing having my dad there. It was um, it was a fight I had to win to prove to myself that the first fight was just me on a bad day, which it was. And and it, it's just a, it, it was just a great night. It was um, it was a blessing having my dad there with me, winning my first title. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a baby boy. Happy, happy one month, Prince. Yeah, it's a special moment. Obviously, uh, it's just um, he's just changed so much now, and um, yeah, it's such a blessing. Like he's just like, it's just scary how quick time goes. He's now crawling, and you know, calling me dada. So. So um, I forget boxing for a minute. We're about boxing. Retired today, tomorrow. You know, I've got what really counts. There was talks about me going into Bellator, um, which I'm not sure has been uh, mentioned before. But uh, me training with Darren Till was part of some training um, that I was looking at doing. Into seeing what the grappling game is about. Listen, I'm a I'm a lover of the sport of fighting. I'm a lover of the sport of yeah, you could be choking someone out, ironing someone out, knocking them out, you know, making them tap out unconscious. It's the sport of fighting, it's what I do, I'm a fighter. I tell them a fighter over a box all day long. I love to fight, it's what I do. So, I believe there may be a time where you may see me in the, the cage. Yes, Pele. I didn't, I didn't know who Pele was. Yes, yeah, exactly. Smart, that's look on your face. Yeah, I didn't know who Pele was, but I was told to have a picture of him. I still don't know the full full length of the full magnitude of who Pele really was. I mean, I watched some um, clips of him afterwards of him with a ball, and you have to admire what he can do with a ball. That was as far as it as it went for me. So, but you know, put me in front of I don't know Will Smith or Denzel Washington. Those are my guys. Like, those are people I'd, I don't know, those are just my people, those are just like people I'd be, there's not many people I meet, would meet and get starstruck. 
I don't think me and Canelo or, or anyone like that, yeah, or anyone in the box, or football world even, but Will Smith and Denzel were like, yeah, I'd be like, I wouldn't even know what to say. Right, best for last, is it? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Two baby face geezers. That's what that is. I was young there, mate. So was Eddie. It's just funny because I look back at this and I go, I go, I love Instagram for this because I hate social media. I don't have it on my phone. It, this isn't my phone, by the way. But seeing it on here, it's like, oh man, I was a little boy. I'm like, I was a kid, man. When I first turned pro, I was, a, I was a naive kid. That's what I see when I look at him. And there I am with my purple shirt and my slit eyebrows thinking I'm bad. Do you know what I mean? No one in there has slit eyebrows, do they? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, then and that, and that's, um, that's just the way it was. That purple shirt was Larry and all, you know. Like, I don't know what I was doing with that shirt. And then, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm gonna look back. I'm, it's gone so quick, my career's going flashing before my eyes. And it will continue to do so. I mean, five more years left in the game. Another half of what I've done already. And it's gone quick. So I just need to make sure that, you know, I leave no stone unturned in my career. That's what I see when I look at that picture. That's what I think when I look at that picture. See, it goes like that. <laughs>